Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. Hey, we're making sure anyone who wants to garden can do it easily, inside or outside. We're doing part three today in our Combining Methods series. So we're walking through a bunch of different stuff. If you haven't seen part one and part two, go check them out because there's things to be learned there. We're starting with part three next. Let's see what we got today. All right guys, when we last left off, we were combining our sprouting lids with our solo cups so that we had a cracky reservoir that we could use in lots of different systems, okay? And that works great. When we last left, we were just supporting these with a cup holder, okay? But today we're going to talk about other systems, especially vertical systems, now that we have it with our solo cup, okay? So about a year ago, I made a awesome, uh, for like $20, I made an awesome vertical shoe rack garden. It's a hanging shoe rack, okay? So let's revisit that now. When I did my old video, for the lid on the cups, I had designed sort of a moving pool noodle structure that kind of slid in and slid out. And it worked and it was okay, but it was a little complicated, I guess, to, to build and, and just took a minute or two at a time. And it just wasn't as efficient as having something as easy as this, okay? Your seeds are already gonna be started here on this. They're gonna go down and you can just plop this in the shoe rack, okay? So super simple, uh, it's self-explanatory. I'll show you a picture of that and what that looks like here. Okay guys, so here's a picture of that uh, cup just slid right down into one of the slots of the shoe rack, right? So this is good. Uh, I would give it like an 8 out of 10, okay? You know me, I'm always about efficiency and I don't like that little space up top. Here, I'll show you a better picture of it right here. That's a lot of space. This is probably best suited for microgreens because you do want a smaller container when you're using microgreens. You don't need that much. But if you're growing greens or bigger plants, all kinds of stuff, dwarf tomatoes and all kinds of plants or lettuces and different things, you want a bigger space. So we're going to switch up and probably use a different container mostly on the shoe rack. But this will definitely work. I give an 8 out of 10, but we'll show you some better stuff in a, a couple videos down the line here for the actual hanging shoe rack but you could use this and that's a great way to go guys and i love those shoe rack gardens and we're going to do some modifications on those as well to give you even another option that both indoors and outdoors to make it bigger better faster stronger right so that's still coming apart from all the stuff that we're talking about today but let's focus in on, on what we have so now we have our solo cups with our green sprout lids and you can tell that they just fit perfect in that hanging shoe rack, right? 24 of them, and you can grow a lot in each one. These are going to be super simple to water, super simple to care for, and just a great way to go. It takes almost no effort to put this thing together. And so the hanging shoe rack is an awesome method that works great and anyone can do it, okay? But not everyone's going to have the space for something that hangs, okay? So another option we're going to give you is something that stands alone. So you, so you could stand it up on a tabletop, you could stand it up on a countertop, you could even have it on the floor, okay? But let's take a look and see what we're talking about. So, all right guys, the Dollar Tree makes these stackable planters. Now we've used the full-size planters outside to much success. Check my older videos, I've probably got 10 videos on them. But this one now is a medium size. They make a small, they make a medium size, and they make a large. Okay. okay, guys, they make a small stackable planter. Okay, that's what that looks like. They make a medium stackable planter. See the difference? Okay. And they make a large stackable planter. Okay, well, today we're dealing with the medium one, okay? And these are uh, two in a pack for $1.25. Okay, not a bad deal. It's gonna give you six planting spots, right? Really good way to go. And so what you're going to be able to do is just have your solo cup crack a reservoir and pop it right into this guy. Then you have adjustable, stackable, cracky hydroponic tower to grow greens or your microgreens, right? So let's take a look and see what that looks like. It's awesome. All right, guys, take a look at this awesome thing right here, okay? So just solo cups with our green lids, okay? This, this size right here, this will hold um, 15 is what we got here. You could still put more on the top. The lids come in a pack of 12, so maybe you don't even want to go this big. Maybe you take it one layer down. Or you could buy two packs and go more layers up. This thing is super stable, guys. Super stable. And I love this size for indoors. I like this better than the bigger ones, okay? You could put this next to a window. You'll be able to rotate it because it's not too big. You can just spin it around so that all sides get the light. You can adjust it, pop these in and out, no problem, right? Bam. And uh, yeah, it's just great. So using the green mesh on top as your lid system and just plugging them right in. It couldn't be simple. We haven't modified a thing. We might have to go through and maybe make these holes a little bigger with a nail. We'll see how the testing goes, how the prototypes go. But yeah, a dozen of the, dozen of the lids and the hefty red solo cups right into the mid-sized Dollar Tree stackables, right? This couldn't work better, guys. You could have just a huge, just a just a huge tower of greens, perfect size for indoors, right? So you could put this on a table next to a window. You could put it on your countertop if you have space. You could put this anywhere, right? In a, you could put this in a spare bedroom just on top of a desk or something, right? 
and have a ton of different baby greens or microgreens, right? Oh, and let's bring back one other method. Watch this. So if we go back to our microgreens that we were growing in these instead of the red solar cups, that's another great option. So if we go back to video one where we were doing microgreens on our uh, mason jars like this, that's going to work too. Watch this. <laughs> How awesome is that? Right? So whether you want to use the solar cup method or whether you want to use the half pints in this guy, that will work as well. So you could have all microgreens growing on here, each one in its own little half pint container, right? Or you could have the red solar cups with those lids popped right in there, okay? And you could have, you know, any amount you want, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. If we put some up here, it'd be 18 of them, right? And so it's just an... And so it's just an awesome way to go. Combining all this different stuff, you can use the mason jars, you can use the red solar cups. The green seed lids are what's tying all this together, right? And what's making it possible and making it easy and effective, okay? So, so far, we're, this is video three. We've talked about the red solar cups, the green seed lids, and the mason jars with the stackable tower, okay? There's more to come. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. we got more videos dropping this week that's just going to keep pushing this thing better, all right? And just a quick footnote here, you can use these medium-sized stackable containers without the solar cups in there, and the lids will fit in there just fine. But you will have to fill up the reservoir. If you're using bigger plants, you'll have to fill up the re reservoir a bit more because you won't have quite the depth that you would have if you were using the solar cup. Okay? This is probably a better fit for microgreens than it would be for the baby lettuce, which is going to drink more and just be a larger plant. But still totally possible to do that, and they'll stack just fine, just like that. Really good way to go. We'll talk to you real soon. Like and subscribe. This is Troy Time. I'm out.